to our video about sepsis. Let's begin with what is sepsis? Sepsis develops when the body has a dysregulated response to an infection. This, in turn, results in damage to the patient's own organs. People with a weakened immune system are at much higher risk of infection, particularly children under one year old, the elderly over 65 years old, those on immunosuppressant drugs, people with chronic diseases, and patients with no spleen. But why is sepsis important? Sepsis carries with it significant morbidity and mortality, and certain features can suggest a much higher mortality. Recent evidence advises us that if a patient has a high respiratory rate of over 30 breaths per minute, is newly confused, or has a low blood pressure with systolic blood pressure of less than 100, then their predicted mortality is increased. In fact, if they have two or more of these features, called the QSOFA score, then their predicted mortality is over 40%. For this reason, it is essential that we identify and treat all patients with sepsis quickly. So, how do we recognise sepsis? Infection can happen in many different areas of the body and therefore present in many different ways. Common symptoms include cough, breathlessness, pain passing urine, abdominal discomfort, headache or skin infection, to name only a few. It is vital to identify the site of infection to aid correct antibiotic selection. In a healthcare setting, we can diagnose sepsis using a new score of 5 or above. Concerning features include new confusion, breathlessness, mottled skin, shivering, low urine output or low blood pressure. So how do we treat sepsis? Well, the clock starts ticking as soon as you recognise sepsis. The first hour is the golden hour and timely intervention within the first 60 minutes provides the best outcomes. For sepsis, think buffalo. Buffalo allows us to deliver sepsis 6 easily. It stands for blood and other relevant cultures, urine output, fluid therapy, appropriate antibiotics, lactate and oxygen. B is for blood and other relevant cultures. Obtaining blood cultures, and also cultures from other relevant sources, can help identify the cause of sepsis and can help to ensure that patients are on the correct antibiotics. The cultures should be taken preferably prior to any antibiotic therapy, although should not delay the treatment, and should be taken even if the patient has aparexial. U is for urine output. This is a marker of systemic perfusion, which could be impaired by sepsis. You should consider catheterization, but as a minimum, urine output should be recorded hourly. It is concerning if the urine output drops below half a mil per kilogram per hour. For example, 30 mils per hour for a 60 kilogram person. This needs to be flagged up urgently as the patient may be heading towards septic shock with multi-organ failure, including acute kidney injury. F is for fluid therapy. Blood vessels become leaky as a result of sepsis and fluid leaks out into the tissues. Blood vessels also dilate and this can cause low blood pressure, reduce perfusion to organs and eventually multi-organ failure. Reach for crystalloid fluids such as Hartman's or 0.9% saline for resuscitation and aim to resuscitate with an initial fluid bolus and an aim of achieving 30 mils per kilogram in the first three hours. A is for appropriate antibiotics. These must be given within the first hour 
the mortality from septic shock rises by 8% for each hour antibiotics are delayed. The most appropriate antibiotic should be chosen depending on the source of infection and adjusted as per local guidelines which will take into account resistance patterns. L is for lactate. This is also a marker of perfusion. A lactate level above 2 is abnormal. However, if the level is greater than 4, it is associated with a mortality of 38%. Repeat lactate should be taken after 4 hours to ensure improvement. O is for oxygen. The oxygen requirement of tissues increases in sepsis. We should therefore always aim for an oxygen saturation to target level to prevent hypoperfusion and tissue damage. After successfully ensuring all components of Buffalo are completed, it is time to review and re-review your patient. Most patients should have responded and started improving. Good job! However, there may be a small number of patients who either do not improve or continue to deteriorate despite your best efforts. Important clues suggestive of a need to escalate care include hypoxia despite maximal oxygen therapy on the ward, persistent hypotension despite adequate fluid resuscitation of 30 mL per kilogram in the first three hours, new or worsening confusion, decreased germ output and persistent tachycardia. If this is the case, don't delay. Call for senior help. You could still save a life. Remember to review your patient regularly, especially if they don't seem to be getting better. Your patient may develop septic shock and require a higher level of care in the high dependency unit or the intensive care unit. In these areas, more support can be given if multi-organ failure has developed, including vasopressor drugs to improve blood pressure, intubation and ventilation, or renal dialysis. Hopefully, your patient will respond to your various interventions and you will be able to de-escalate therapy as they improve. Once your patient has been stabilised, it is essential to review their ongoing management. Culture results should be reviewed and sensitivities sought to ensure the correct antibiotics are being administered. Fluid management should be reviewed and discontinued if appropriate. Antibiotics should be adjusted if necessary. Duration should be decided and documented and it should be considered whether intravenous therapy can be switched to oral. All invasive devices such as cannulae, central lines and catheters should also be reviewed and removed if possible. In summary, sepsis is diagnosed when the news score is 5 or above and there is evidence of a suspected infection. Buffalo or sepsis 6 should be delivered within 60 minutes and we now know that Buffalo stands for blood and other relevant cultures, urine output, fluid therapy, appropriate antibiotics, lactate and oxygen. Now that you know Buffalo, you too can save a life. <laughs>